Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 11 of the same topic. We have already done from some questions from the chapter innings and the remaining ones we'll do it today. So here that is the question number 7. The ratio of the tens digit to the ones digit of a two digit number is 2 is to 3. If 27 is added to the number, the digits interchange their places and then you have to find the number. So here what you have to do first, because it is a two digit number, so we will consider the tens digit be x and the units digit be y. So you know wherever this is tens and units, so this is y and this is x. So therefore two digit number will be, so now see here whenever we have the tens and the this ones that is the units place, this should be multiplied by 1 and this should be multiplied by 10 because it is a tens place. So here we have x, so 10x and here is just y, so 10x plus y, so the two digit number is 10x plus y. So now given ratio is what is given, here ratio is given as 2 is to 3. So now let us consider this because we just want one single variable. So now we will consider this x as because now x is 2 and this y is 3. So we can consider this x as 2k and y as 3k. So this is the important step. So now what will you do here? Now this is the two digit number 10x plus y. So in place of this x, this is 10x plus y. So in place of this x, we are going to write here 2k. And in place of this y, we will write here 3k. So now what is this going to be? 20k plus 3k. So that is going to be 23k. So now after, what did they say here? If 27 is added to the number. So after adding 27, digits interchange their places. So the, the number becomes here, it was 10x plus y. So here will be y and this is going to be x. So it is going to be 10y plus x. So again in this y means what are we going to do? We are going to put 3k after interchanging the places. And here will be x is what? 2k. So this is going to be 30k plus 2. So this will be plus 2k. That is will be 30k plus 2k. That is going to be 30k. So now the equation is going to be what? It said this 27 is added to the number. So this was the number 23k. So to, we'll add 27 to it. So sorry, this will be 32k. 30k plus 2k that will be 32k. So that will be 23k plus 27. So this was the number. So 23k, we are adding 27 to it. That is the new number. After interchanging it, this is 32k. So now what will you do? 27, let us keep on the left hand side. This is already on the right hand side. So if this goes on the right hand side, it is going to be minus 23k. So 27 is will be 9k. So this is multiplication. So 27 divided by 9 is equal to k. So this will be 3. So the value of k is 3. So now 2k will be because x we are considered 2k. So 2k will be in place of k we are going to write 3. So that is going to be 6 and 3k means this y is 3k. So 3 into this k is 3. So that is going to be 9. So they have asked find the number. So what is that? That will be the number is x, y, right? So this will be this is 6 and this is 9. So the number is 60. Nine. Now here, if 7 is subtracted from 5 times a number, the difference is 8 more than twice the number. So now we don't know the number, so we'll consider let the number be x. And 5 times a number means 5 times a number will, is going to be 5x. So according to question, what did they say here? If 7 is subtracted from, after from whatever you have, that we'll write first. So after from is 5 times a number. So you will write your 5x. So, and you are going to subtract 7 from there. That is what the difference is. 
8 more than twice the number. Twice the number means 2x. So that will be 2x and 8 more means plus 8. So this step should be noted. So now here 5x. This will be here. That is going to be minus 2x. This is already on the right hand side. Minus 7 becomes plus 7. So this is going to be 3x. This is going to be 15. So x is going to be 15. This is divided by 3. So this will be 5. So x is 5. So we want to, they are asked what is the number and we are considered the number as x. So the number is 5 because x is 5. Now here, 4 years ago, my father's age was 5 times my age. So at present the sum of our ages is 50. What is my father's present age? So now let present age of father be x years. So sum of present ages is given as, say at present the sum of ages is 50. So sum of present ages is given as 50. So my age is going to be what? From 50, because sum is 50, that we have to subtract this x. So that is going to be 50 minus x. So this is important step. So now they said four years ago, my father's age was five times my age. So four years ago, father's age was what? Present age was x. So four years ago, it is going to be x minus four years. And my age was what was given here? The present age was 50 minus x here. So four years ago means here I have to put again minus four. So this is here. So this will be when you solve this 150 minus four, that is going to be 46, 46 minus this x, 46 minus x. So what is given here now? Four years ago, my father says you're five times my age. So now, four years ago means x minus four. Five times means five into, what is that? 46 minus, this is four years ago, 46 minus six. So now you are going to solve this one. This will be same. When you multiply this, you will get 230. And when you multiply this, you get minus 5x. So now x is already on the left hand side. Minus 5x comes here. That is going to be plus 5x. This is the same. Minus 4 is going to be plus 4. So this is 1. So this is going to be 6x is 234. So x is going to be 234. This is multiplication. So this is going to get divided. So this will be 39. When you divide this by you get 39. So what is x? x is the, they have asked the, what is my father's percentage? And at present age, we have considered that as x. So we got x is 39. So father's present age is 39 years. Now here, Arpit has rupees 100, rupees 50, and rupees 10 notes in his wallet in the ratio that is 2 is to 3 is to 5. Means 100 will be 2, this 50 is going to be 3, and 10 is going to be 5. Find the total amount of money in his wallet. If he has a total of 50 notes of, total notes are 50 of all the three denominations. These are the denominations. So now we let us consider that number of 100 notes be, rupees 100 notes be, that is 2 means we can consider that 2x. So number of rupees, this is 50 notes, this is 3. So that is going to be, 3x and number of rupees this is 10 notes so the third one that is 5 5x so total number means what will you do 2x plus this 2x plus 3x plus 5x and then how many they have they have 50 notes so that is 50 so when you add this one this is going to be 10x it's 50 so x is going to be 50 this will be 10 so this is going to be 5 so x is 5 so now you will say number of because we are considered the number of 100 notes as 2x so Number of 100 notes, that will be 2x, that is going to be 2 into 5, that is 10. Number of 50 notes, that is what we have considered, that is 3x. So that will be 3 into 5, that is going to be 15. And number of rupees, 10 notes, that will be 5x, so that will be 5 into 5, that is 25. So now what will is, they have said, total amount of money of all the three denominations. So this will be how many of 100? We have 10. So what are you going to do? 100 into 10, that is going to be rupees 1000. 50, how many do we have? We have 50 nodes. So 50 into 15, that is going to be 750. And 10, this we have, that is 25 nodes. So that will be 
rupees 10 into 25 that is going to be rupees 250 so we want a total amount so what will you do this we are going to add all so 1000 plus 750 plus 250 and you add that is going to be 2000 so we can say total amount of money in his wallet is that is rupees 2000 so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you